In the beginning, there has always been the fight between good versus evil. Living in a world where they have to choose which side. What did the Lord say? The Lord said, you want to win this battle? We went through it last night. You want to win this battle? How you going to do this? How you going to overcome this evil? That's what it's all about. Two and two. When the, he wanted to hear the truth because, because because when the the other prophets came and told him the word of the Lord he when wanted, what when when the other prophets concept, what prophets are you referring to um in verse six what prophets are you referring to that's not telling me nothing you referring to the prophets that Ahab called or are you referring to the prophets that Jehoshaphat called I'm referring to the prophets that Ahab called. Okay, well, go ahead. Jehoshaphat didn't accept those prophets and wanted to know. How you know he didn't accept those prophets? I'm going by verse 7. You going in Proverbs 7. Everybody else that's listening to us, we want to hear you tell us what you're talking about. I'm not looking at, I'm looking at you. I'm not looking at the scripture. Tell me what you're talking about. And, and you take it too long. You got to hurry up. Because Jehoshaphat said, is there not here a prophet of the Lord? Okay, I'm going to ask you again. Why? What I heard you all before. Why I can't hear you now? Why? Because, um, because Ahab liked prophets that only told him what he wanted to hear. Why? I don't know. Next, please. I'm looking for somebody to stand up that think they understand the story. And um, I don't want y'all standing up. And that's another important lesson. When you're dealing with the Bible, don't deal with it like any other book. Don't stand up guessing. Every time you guess, you're going to be wrong. Okay? Everybody got that? Don't stand up guessing. If you think you got a good understanding of the story, stand up and speak from what you think you know. When you're doing that, you're speaking with confidence. Do everybody understand that? Everybody got it? Go. Yes, sir. I believe he was also used to set... Who was he? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, King Jehoshaphat was also used to set King Ahab up. He was used to set him up? I why, say that... Why, why would Jehoshaphat be used to set Ahab up? If, if he hadn't agreed to go with him to war. Like if, if he hadn't said Kun to Ahab asking him to go to war with him. So you think that the Lord put a spirit on Jehoshaphat to also deceive uh, uh, Ahab to get him into that battle? Not to deceive, but maybe to motivate him to want to go to oh, war. Why, why are you trying to use another word? You said, what you're saying, according to what you're saying, if Jehoshaphat didn't go to war with him, Ahab went and went. Right? Yes, sir. Okay, so you're saying, you're saying that the Lord used Jehoshaphat to get him into that war um, to deceive him. To get him into that war. Yes, sir. No, no, where you getting that from? You can use motivate. You can, I choose to use deceive because I understand what you're saying. You can use motivate, inspire, whatever you want to use. Whatever you want to use, where you getting that from? I'm wrong, sir. Huh? I'm wrong. I'm going to tell you all again, the scripture's got to be your guide. Y'all y'all pulling up all kind of opinions. I want to hear you going in the scriptures and you saying because of this, because of that, because of this, and because of that. Come on, stand up, brother. You got to just stand up and hear see. Anybody upstairs? Upstairs shut down. Let me see upstairs. Oh, yeah, they shut down. Okay. Shalom to the God sent comforter. Shalom, sir. Shabbat shalom. Sorry. Shabbat shalom. Yes, sir. I believe that Jehoshaphat played the friend of King Ahab. And um, our, the reason why I believe that Jehoshaphat played the friend of King Ahab is because when he first came to meet him, he was saying that... Um, you know, I, I am, you know, um, I mean, let's, let's just for, for argument's sake, say he did play his friend. So what? <laughs> we trying to get to the moral, right? So let's just say he was his friend. Okay. And 
How does that going to get us to the mall? Um, I don't You're supposed know. to be looking at his role throughout the whole chapter. So if he was Ahab's friend, okay, and what? Um, Jehoshaphat was loyal. This was a, a Gentile nation that they was going to war against. The land belonged to them. Um, and Jehoshaphat, like he said, my people are your people. We brothers, okay? This is a conflict with brothers, and we're going to go to war. If you're going to go to war, we're going to go to war. But let's go, and ask, let's go and ask the Lord first. Let's see what the Lord say about it. Bottom line. Okay, so what role did Jehoshaphat play throughout that whole story? If you find that, then you're going to be able to find the moral. Okay, let me give you another clue then, unless there's anybody else. Anybody else? Then no one else? Upstairs. Okay, upstairs. Yes, sir. Shalom to the Holy Apostle. Shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Joseph, Jehoshaphat knew that the prophets were not the prophets of the Lord. Uh, that's why he wanted uh, a prophet of the Lord to... Why, how did he know that they was not the prophets of the Lord? Um, in verse... Can you speak into the mic, please? Yes, sir. How did he know that they was not the prophets of the Lord? In, uh, in, in, in the verse, it says that... It says it just refers to them as prophets. Um, what? In, in the verse, it refers to... Uh, in what? I'm sorry. In verse 6... It said the king of Israel gathered the prophets together. Um, and then in verse 7 it says, And Jehoshaphat said, Is there not here a prophet of the Lord? Besides that, we might inquire of him. No, that's not. That's not. That's you reading into stuff. Sister, right here. Um, I, I think when, you, when you read the Bible like that, you'll never, you'll always be lost. Yes, sir. I, I mean, excuse think, me. Yes, ma'am. Uh, um, I think Jehoshaphat went because he um, he followed God's law and he inquired of him anytime he's going to war and he knew Ahab was wicked and he knew he was going to die. Well, you you excite me when you I'm, I I got some energy when you started talking because you you said something with some understanding but you still ain't bringing it home for me. Okay, right? And what does that have to do with the moral of the story? She, um, first of all, let me say she's right, okay? Um, he knew, don't think he didn't know that Ahab was wicked, okay? Everybody understand? He knew Ahab was wicked. Everybody got that? That's how he knew that the prophets that Ahab was calling, they were all false prophets because Ahab wasn't going to deal with no, no real prophet because he's wicked. Everybody understand that? So we got that. Great. So now what? Um. <laughs> Ahab being wicked ain't had nothing to do with the Assyrians being wicked. Well, what, so he went out to fight against the Assyrians with Ahab. He wanted to hear what was the word that was going to come from God. Yes. What else you say? Um, at this point, maybe Jehoshaphat. My opinion was that Jehoshaphat, Ahab would be gone, and he'll be um, the ruler. That's or, what you think. Nah, see, uh, see, that's where you start going on. When you, you should be like, the way I understood the story, I never really want to okay. hear it in your opinion. Sorry. I don't, the way I comprehend, the way I understood what the Lord was bringing out was this way. Now, your understanding may be a little off, and we'll, we'll correct that. But I never want to hear your opinions. Next. But she gave us some meat. She gave us something that nobody else gave. He knew that Ahab was wicked. How could he not know who Ahab was? Ahab was wicked, okay? Come, sir. Have y'all read the rest of the, the, the chapters prior to this chapter? Who was Ahab's wife? Jezebel. All right. What did Jezebel do? Okay, thank you. So now Ahab had what? He had what? Yeah, he had false prophets. 